Alex Beer Reviews back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan! What are we drinking? Think about it. Take a minute if you need okay. to. It's okay. Okay. Ah. Mike, we are drinking a beer from the Mortalis Brewing Mortalis. Company. Mortalis! Mortalis! Brewed and canned in Avon, New York. Oh. And uh, yeah, this is 8% ABV. It's a double India, uh, double <laughs> India Pale Ale. And this is Strange Philosophies 108. It's, it's, got, the old, it's got the old thinking man on there doing his thing. He's just chilling. Uh, so this one is hopped Canada with... Uh, can on date is not on the can. Messed up. Uh, which Way to is, go, Mortalis. All that shit all over IG. the label and you can't Mike, put a date Mike, on the can? Mike, December That is 12th. Bush League! December 12th. So that means Rookie mistake. at the film, at time of filming, we're less than uh, three weeks. All I'm hearing is two plus two equals five. Huge <laughs> yeah, tool. amounts of... <laughs> oh, I got a you, tool. You I got a tool next to me. I got a tool next to me. Huge amounts of Freestyle Nelson and HBC... Not Cage Nelson. Cage Nelson's gross. Yakima Chief, actually. Ooh, Yakima. Uh, those Yakima hops. Which one is it? Uh, From the valley of the thinking man, Yakima hops. HBC 630. That's what it was. Finally. See, you finally got more. Look at you. You got way more. That's good. Can on date says, oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Uh, so anyway. Juicy, uh, hazy IPA. Is this other half in this can? Who the fuck knows? <sighs> What's more important here uh -huh. is uh, this is actually... Um, that's what the beer kind of looks like. It's, it's like bright yellow. Kind of like orange marmalade kind of thing. Um, nice this beer is light years beyond that other IPA. Um, Strange Philosophies 108. It's a rotating hop series. The last one I had, 107, mm -hmm. they actually put watermelon powder in it. It was so juicy. It was unreal. Dude. Jeez. You, know, you can powder fruit. Yeah. You can powder toast. Uh, Man. All right. So on the nose, like, you're just getting huge amounts of, like, that, like, white grape kind of funk. And I would say gooseberry, but I haven't had a gooseberry, so I can't tell you what gooseberry is. we not had gooseberries yet? We got to try gooseberries. Oh, lychee. Lychee. Tell me what lychee. Very er gooseberry. It's very herbaceous, kind of grassy, right? Yeah, it is very herbaceous. Very whiny. What were the other hops in this? Uh, HBC, HBC, it's just, it's Freestyle Nelson and, um, the Freestyle. It's Yakima Chief HBC what, 630. I don't know. Freestyle Nelson. What, what, how does that? It, it's just a different, um, if it makes it more grapey because it, it really does come off with like a really pungent green vine grape. Freestyle is its own kind of it's free, area. Man. No one's it's shackling free. them. We're doing whatever they want. It's got, like, Nelson hops going everywhere, man. Uh, I think the Nelson is, like, front and center in this. It, it really yeah, just it's got it's... So, I've always said Nelson almost has, like, this farmhouse funk to it. Like, this kind of okay. wild cheddar kind of thing going on. Ooh. You got wild cheddar, freestyle yeah. Nelson. No one's holding any <laughs> of these things back. No, like, um, I don't know. What I mean to say is, like, that pungent. It's very pungent. It's, like, got this wild cheddar kind of farmhouse thing going on. Okay. Um, <clears throat> on like the herbaceous aspect on that cone on that mm -hmm. spectrum and then you got that super bright kind of like tropical like whiny kind of white grape thing and they kind of come together and meet and uh yeah nelson i feel like it's an underrated hop it's a good hop a lot of, nelson is one of the most divisive hops yeah I mean, that's a lot of people don't like so i'm nelson. saying like but i think it's that weird punch like, thing that i'm yeah. I like it. I, I I don't know. I see a beer that's got Nelson in it. I'm like, ooh, I wonder what they're doing with it. Like, uh, eight percent ABV. I think the body's pretty full for eight eight percent. I was gonna say I think it's pretty full. It's freaking sweet. This drinks like a triple for me. It does. Um, it has a real. It, it's got a lot of candied fruit notes in it. Like, it's it's overly sweet for me. I'm getting that like kind of cottony mouth sweetness in there to it that I usually get from a triple. But I'll tell you what, that's a good pull though. A grape cotton candy. Kind of aspect. It really is. Um, yeah, I mean, because you don't like the sweeter. No, I don't. It, it's this is definitely not something I can. I drink the whole can of. I'm I'm good with a couple. Me, ounces, I but. would. I, I would crush this. I'm. I like the sweeter ones. 
a little bit better. Um, um, I like I I really like the showcasing it does of that that freestyle Nelson. Doesn't it drink like a triple though? Very much so. <laughs> Absolutely drinks like a triple. Not really a lot of ethanol either. Yeah. Well, uh, no, it, it hides the alcohol. There's there's no astringency or anything like that. Mm. Um, yeah, Lloyd BV triple is what it is. Not for nothing. <laughs> I mean, and that's nice though because I like I really like triples, but I I get in trouble, boy. I'll tell you. And I I think that's where it presents itself where it's not like, you know, a regular double where maybe you're drinking a little faster. Eh, maybe you're sipping this one a little slower. Well, if we do the nerd sense, we'll have it right there. It's still black as pitch. It is. That is the Frequentum Black Lager label. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Look at that. There's like 5,280 words on here, but not a candon date. They run on ink. He's thinking about it. He's like, what is the date? It's only three weeks old. We got it at AJ's Beer Warehouse in Henrietta. Three weeks from two years ago? December 12th. Of 1992. What do you rate it? Um, <clears throat> for what it is, uh, I think it's a... Uh, I'll give it a 4.3. Okay. Personal preference... 3.2. I don't know. Wow. I would drink okay. it. Okay. I don't like it. I'll go with Stuhl with Nelson, but it's not for me. I wouldn't. Man, that. you hate Mortalis. Yeah, I don't like Mortalis. All right. Um, I'm going to give this a 4.25. I think it's a, a glorious IPA. And I, I think if you want a triple and you want the huge flavor notes and the body yeah, and the very fullness, much so. I, I would steer you in the direction of this particular one. Um, I can't agree with you more on that. Like I said, like the last one I had, it was like insanely juicy. I, they had a watermelon powder, and I forget the other hops. I'd, I'd be but so it was interested just like, to try that. Just it was insane how juicy. That's it was. crazy. Like, and have you ever had another beer with like a fruit powder in it? I'm sure that I've had fruited sours that they put powder, but I don't know. Yeah, it's I don't know. I, I always feel like it's puree though. Yeah, some breweries. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I'm, I'm not putting anyone on my... Ah! Yeah, I'll just, you know. um, no, this is... Um, I enjoy it. Uh, yeah, Mortalis IPAs. I used mm. to really... I, I enjoyed them at the um, at the brewery, but it seemed like every time I got a can of their IPA, something, like it'd be good at first, but then like I'd go for another one a few weeks later and just... It, it would be off. Like, I think their cans have gotten better, haven't yeah. they? Like it, Canning their IPAs. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know. Uh, whatever they did, they fixed it. Um, I appreciate it. I look forward to their stuff now. You think um, they can put a date on the can? They're fixing all that? Yeah, pretty much. All right. Uh, down in the description below, head us up. Hey, have you had Mortalis? Do you like Mortalis? Do you like their IPAs? Do you like their stouts? Famous for the Hydros. I know yeah, pretty yeah, much yeah, yeah. everyone except for Mike and his wife enjoy them. So, yeah. Other than that, cool. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for watching.